Hello, our travels have taken us to the desert. We're at the King Fahd Stadium in Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Saudi Pro League. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the starting lineup for Al Hilal. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And now they get the ball rolling. Salem Aldosari. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, the visitors won't enjoy hearing this, but it is a fact. They have the least proficient defence in the league. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. One nil then. Yasser Al Shahrani. Salman Al Faraj. Onto Carrillo. There to take it away. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Now well, they've given him too much space. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again. The cross is inch perfect, just begging somebody to run onto it. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Salem Al Dossari giving it a try, body in the way.
and a poor ball and room now out on the flank he's got the score it's gone in and well he might celebrate on the back of that Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, 2-1 it is here. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Plenty of options. And he takes it on. Superb block. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And quite simply, wide of the target. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, disappointing end to the move. Salman Al-Faraj. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Yeah, it's certainly been an open game, but on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. Here. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And it's a quality pass. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. So that is that. The referee brings the first half to an end and the visitors know they've got to show an improvement in the second 45, Stuart. Well, at the moment, they're still in this, but that's down to their attackers because once again, their defending has been poor. Unless that changes, they'll lose this game by much... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Great opportunity, and it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Oh, 
Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Getting in there to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it petered out. Mateusz Pereira. Well read to ease the pressure. Jang Hyun Su. Here's Carillo. 30 minutes left for play. Chance to play it in. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Might really be able to trouble them here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it might be on for them once more. Could cross it in here. Takes the shot. And the post denied him. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Well, they have to have that sense of self-belief. It could happen for them. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And Al-Hilal with the ball once more. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. It's a weighted pass. Giving the ball away. Igalo. And that pass could be troublesome. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Andre Carillo. And he could really get at the opposition. Can he take advantage? And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself.
And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.